Hey everybody, Larry at Sim Products, and today we're gonna to talk about Sim's newest tip, which is called Shift. Shift stands for Sim Hem Flange Tip. And obviously when we talk about hem flanges, we're talking about the rolled over hem flange that you typically see on uh, this, this one in particular is a hood, but you see them a lot of times on the door skins as well. And you're gonna to need to make sure that you get in there and you can put seam seater down. So what the, the standard way of doing this throughout the years has been to take masking tape and to come in and take this off. And you think, well, that's not that big of a deal. Well, it really is. Um, I know that uh, I'm not into body shops as often as I used to be, but I can tell you, it is not easy to be able to take this thing. It's time consuming to put that tape down and get it the, the right width of the bead. But even more than that, is that even if you take all that time away, is the waste that's involved with being able to lay a bead down, take a Bondo spreader and spread it across. There's a lot of waste and we had done this before and measured it. So it's over 60% of waste that's involved. So over half of what you apply when you're doing it that way, over half of that is gonna be thrown in the trash, dried up with, uh, with seam sealer. So the shift tip is, is designed to go in and to be able to duplicate that. Now, is it something that you're gonna use every single time? No, it's like a tool in your toolbox. Just like uh, a wrench that you have, you're not gonna use that exact wrench every time you do a vehicle. But if you can use this tip, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money on the, on the material. So with this, there's a couple of things that there's a learning curve that goes along with using this. One is that, you know, just like uh, when you get ready to, to take a golf swing, you always want to make sure that you go up and take those first couple of practice swings first. And what you mean by that is taking the, the cartridge, put it in your gun. Now these, uh, the shift tip comes one with each one of these comes with our medium bodied seam sealer. So you get those for, for free at no charge. If you need more of those, make sure you contact your sim rep. As long as you're using our products in your body shop, they'll make sure and get those to you at no cost. But back to what we're talking about. These guides ride the lip of that hem flange. But before you go in and you start applying the seam sealer, you wanna make a couple of dry runs here. You can see a couple of little nicks and notches on the side of this hem flange. So you wanna make sure that there's nothing that's gonna make it jump the guide, in other words. The other thing that gets asked is, well, how do you use it to turn corners? Well, in most cases where we're using this, you don't have to turn a corner. You can actually, you, you lay your bead out and then you take a Bondo spreader and you wipe those corners. So the corners aren't quite as important to be able to turn around on that as, as possible. So like I said, make sure that you run a couple of, of test runs through here. Another thing that you can do is use your, your uh, finger as a guide. That way if it does happen to hit something that it snaps off, then your finger's there to kind of hold it where it needs to be. The other thing that you might want to do is actually take and wrap the air hose across your, your, uh, your shoulder so it's not in your way. So before we start applying uh, the, the bead of seam sealer with the shift tip, um, I've already equalized this cartridge, but we need to make sure that we get purged out. So just lay a small sample bead there. Looks like it's mixing properly. Now you can attach the shift tip to it. And you're ready to go. Now, the next part of this is we already talked about running some test runs here. The other thing that you wanna make sure and do is you don't wanna be right up here on top of this when you're dispensing because every time I have to take a step back, you might get a little bit of a, of a bubble or a, a rise in your seam seater. So you wanna be able to reach as far as possible. So when you do this, and then you run it to the end. And don't worry about what it looks like at the end because like I said, in most of these cases, we're gonna come back and we're gonna wipe that to begin with. Now, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the same thing over here. Once again, making sure that there's nothing in there that's gonna obstruct you from being able to lay that bead.
And then from there, you simply wipe your corners, tidy those up a little bit, and you're ready to go. So hopefully this video helps you out. Like I said, not saying you can, you're gonna use it every single time you pick up a tuba seam sealer, but it is another valuable tool in your toolbox that if you can use it, will save you time and save you money.